Okay, here we go. Visual and Active SAT or GRE prep in five sessions. Welcome to the visual and active way of improving your vocabulary and your understanding about math. It's also known as SAT prep. Let's start with your homework. Every week you should learn at least 50 words from freevocabulary.com. Okay? It's going to go like this. You're going to see your list list of uh, free vocabulary words. You're going to go down. Oh, I know rapid. That's no problem. In fact, the way to really do this is you print it out. And you have your list. You just look right behind. I don't know rapine, but I know rapt. It's like really good attention, really strong attention. Raptorial. Ration. When you ration, it's a verb. I know how to ration something. Uh, you know, like during World War II, they rationed uh, gasoline. They kind of, you know, give it out as a quota. Or See, I'm coming up with um, sim uh, synonyms, and I can put it in a sentence. That's what we're looking for. You will find, with the CD, a photocopied list of words. This is what you should do. I've made it easy on you. You have everything you need to get started. Even if your printer is broken, you have the first 50 words on paper in the packet. Do you get this? Everything is right where you need it. Everything is right here. You fold the paper so that you only see the words, not the definitions. Then you read the full list and put a check mark next to every word that you can give a synonym to, and then you use it in a sentence. So garrulous. Man, I hate my class in SAT. There's the student who is so garrulous. He's always arguing with the teacher and he's talking all the time on his cell phone without leaving the class. He's so talkative and argumentative. Okay? That's how you're doing it. Now, step three. You unfold the paper. It's time to go back each day and read and study the words. Okay? So, with the paper, I've had it folded, I've marked all the words that I know, and now I go back, and anything I've not marked, I'm going to read. Repine, the act of seizing or carrying off problems. Oh, it's so kind of like raping. So you start making connections with it, okay? Hmm, read, read, read. So, gregarious means like uh, social, friendly, okay? It's not egregious, okay? It's not egregious. Okay, I've got to make a connection. Gregory is so friendly. He's always talking. He's smiling. He's gregarious. Gregory is gregarious. Then step four, go to the library or to the, the book <laughs> story store. Barnes & Noble is a good one. And get a visual SAT with cartoons and a list of hot words, or go to teachers, teachers.com, that's teachers with an S, T-O, teachers with another S, teachers to teachers.com and get your list. Step five, number two.com. Go register and get started. Number six, smile, breathe, remember that the SAT tests only about two-sevenths of who you are. Okay? Um, about two-sevenths of most jobs require none of what you're being tested on. The SAT is not a great predictor of success in life or in college, and we're playing a game here. Thank you for listening, and have a good class.